Today, we're gonna to do a run and a smurf. This is purely capacity work, okay? So, if you know you're good at bent over rows, you know you're good at push-ups, and you know you're good at air squats, do it as you would at uh, RX Murph. And that means that we're gonna do all 100 bent over rows, before we do all 200 press-ups, and then all 300 squats. Now, if you partition any way, that is scaled. I'll just say that, okay? It, the challenge is when you're under constant or um, high fatigue to carry on and complete that set next 50, 100 press ups, okay? Or air squats or whatever it is. That's the whole purpose of doing it that way. Now, that doesn't mean that you won't get a good workout by scaling it. You'll get a very good workout, maybe even more intensity. So, what are we doing? If we're scaling, we can do 10 or 20 rounds of five bent over row, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. Now, if you're doing it in that, in that kind of range, try to make this short, like 20 minutes, smash through this, okay? Make it a tough one. Try and do it like, as like an EMOM, really put in the work. Maybe every 45, you're really good at push-ups. Now, there's no reason why we can't scale the push-ups, bent over row, or air squats more, okay? But that's just, um, that, that would come to me and speak about that in, in, in great, great detail if you want that. So, bent over row. We've got one dumbbell or kettlebell, so it makes sense that we just want one side every round. Five bent over row. We've got lots of options. We can do kind of here, or we can do like a B side. Up to you. Five bent over row. Ten push ups, nice and self explanatory. Should be good at push ups by now. We've been doing them since the start of this lockdown. So, hands under chest. Nice strong position. If we have to do them on knees, that's absolutely fine. But what is not negotiable is our depth, unless we physically can't do them on knees. And that is chest to floor, to full lockout, okay? Yes, this looks like a push up, but it's not, because I'm not getting my chest to the floor. Chest to floor is the standard, okay? To lockout, full range. Last exercise, air squats. Super straightforward, don't mind what you do with your hands. For me, I do like a cut skill when I get tired. Down to depth, which is pretty much, if you're not sure, it's deeper, okay. Bum close to the floor and back up, okay. When we're squatting, like, like any squat mechanics, hips sit back and then we're thinking about sitting down towards our heels.